this little girl who is so special to us that we call her God's little gift of sunshine. And I think of the number of years she's going to have to carry in her memory of this idiotic moment of yours, I just go bitch. <laughs> Opening up a big old can of right. it there. That was, uh, you just saw a clip from the film Billy Jack, one of the hottest independent films of its time. In fact, it still holds the record for the highest grossing, most profitable independent film of all time. Wow, hey, Billy Jack himself, actor Tom Laughlin's back on hey. the streets, so to speak. Hey. Join us now. Good to see you. You guys are very nice, but as I told you, I'm really not Tom Laughlin. Really? He's fatter, older brother. Okay. Oh, oh, I bet right. you still got it, though. Chris, come over here. Stand yeah, good. Come <laughs> over. Across Open up the, the table. Big right across the table, Chris. Just I mean, lay him out. Just you want me to leap over yeah, or just do it from A little bit later on. We'll bring out management while we're I wouldn't ready. take on Chris. He's tough. Now, how fun is that to watch when you're watching clips of yourself in the movies, besides thinking, boy, I should look like a young whippers whippersnapper back then. <laughs> you know, I've seen it so many times, and but the thing about that scene is yesterday I had a man who was uh, in a federal prison in Kentucky, in Asheville, Kentucky at the time, and there was racial tension between the blacks and the whites. It was just very dangerous, and they played that movie, and he thought they got to be nuts. But what happened is it eased the racial tension I unbelievably. Because I'm very proud of that scene. I think we show uh, as clearly as you can what racial prejudice really is and what it does. And that was a real scene. And my brother-in-law, when I went to marry my wife, Dolores, who's a star in the film, that's how I learned all about the Indians. They were bragging to me how they used to do that to the Indians when they got their allotment of flour. Unbelievable. And so I twisted it into there. Here, I want to marry the girl. So I can't tell how angry. I can't throw them through the plate glass window. So I went back to the motel and wrote the scene. I got to tell you, when I was a little kid, I grew up in a uh, three-boy household. I was the youngest. And so my older brothers were eight and ten years older than me. And they found that you could really karate chop, chop an eight-year-old across the room <laughs> much more effectively. And so I was always the brunt of their Billy Jack yeah. attacks. And uh, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, we weren't I'm advocating. you're sitting on that side of the table. Then. We weren't advocating <laughs> violence, but they, they loved the sort of of the yeah. vigilante approach that Billy Jack Yeah, the did. righteousness. And, and the, the point is, I started to mention before, we're here because this is the release of our DVDs. That's right. The packet, you can get it single or otherwise. But it's the first time you'll get to see Billy Jack Goes to Washington. It was never allowed to be released in a theater. Uh, Senator Vance Hardy had a major screening with Senator Cohen, Lucille Ball, gets up and attacks me and says, you communist, you'll never get this released. Everything on this earth gone. And it's true, it was never released till now. And Why? What's in it? It is the most powerful expose of how corrupt, however corrupt you think the Congress and the Senate are, you're not close. And it shows, and if you want to learn about the California blackout, <laughs> and I'm serious, you yeah. know, you go see this movie, it'll show you how it's done in the back scenes, it's deregulation and all the profiteering, and, and, oh, and let me, do, look, come on. They can take a guy on an erector set with three spindly legs and land him on the moon and lift it <laughs> off and hit the mother shit and get back here. Are you telling me we can't have electricity in California? Yeah, if simple as turning the lights on. I know it does seem yeah. like there's something Wait, wrong. Wait, you, you're saying that some of those politicians are lying? I know that sounds, <laughs> I know. I, uh, Wait a I, second. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. Oh boy. Listen, yeah. let me tell you, I hate them all. And the bottom line of it is, you know, politicians lie as easily as they breathe. And the point about it is they have to. The system makes you, I ran for president in 91. You did? Yes, uh, as a protest. And the point is, uh, when I did, I mean, the first thing every, you know, this group likes guns, you got to say, then you th there's a scene in Billy Jack Goes to Washington, it'll blow your mind. Senator uh, E.G. E. G. Marshall, who is just brilliant, tells Billy Jack we're voting no on a bill. He's the dumb new senator. So he tells the press, he comes in, and here's E.G. Marshall voting. We've got to pass this bill tomorrow or the world will end. He goes, I'm, says, I told the press we're, pressed and we're, we're voting no. He says, I am voting no. He says, but I heard you just heard him. He said, that's right. Back home, half the people are for it, half one. Their way, this way, there's a little something for everybody. Oh, wow. And then he says, and don't worry, you'll get used to it. It'll be referred to committee. Yeah. Remember Clinton on Monday had everybody there on violence? This films are a major cause of violence next to the, next to the parents. Has everybody there for a big hearing on violence? Where is he on Saturday night? 
David Geffen's house in Hollywood raising five million dollars. Right, right. There you go. How'd and you it was referred to a committee. How'd you get this role? What were you doing at the time when you tried out for the... Oh, we wrote it. No, there was no trying oh, out. Oh, really? Yeah, my wife and I wrote the oh, script. It's that. all under fake names and... Uh, uh, because no. now independent, you say independent movie, it's kind of got a little, you know, Sundance, uh, right. sort of oh, chic no. and, uh, uh, you know, attachment to it. Then it was a whole different story. It's 30 years ago. This is 30 years ago and you, you couldn't get in the business. In fact, when we made the film, unless you were a member of the IA, they, the projections wouldn't run it. They'd put a scratch on it, they'd ruin the film. Uh, it was really, we wrote it, she produced it, I directed it, all under fake names. Mm -hmm. And uh, we played the two roles and, and marketed them ourselves, finally got Warners to market. market. They tried to kill it, they dumped it in a porno theater in <laughs> Chicago, oh, literally. No, that's true. I mean, uh, we had to sue three different studios to get it to the screen intact. Well, Man, it's a lot different. And Washington, today. we never got to the screen. Well, so, and it's back, and it's in DVD <laughs> collection. Will you stick around? Would you? Yes, you absolutely. Talk more about this collection and uh, your career, oh, and yeah. also I want to find out what you've been doing since then. Okay. But I got a plug. I'm going to be out at the Tower Record on Saturday at one o'clock at Sirius. There'll be time for plugging oh, later. Is that okay? I don't know how to. I haven't done this Why before. Oh no, yeah, we have plenty of plug time.